Mechanized Series Episode 12 KV-2 In late 1939, a assault tank based on the KV was designed armed with a 152M10 howitzer, the 1938 version. Beside its armament, the vehicle was different in its turret design. It was designated MT-1. The tank was primarily designed to destroy enemy fortifications. The first tank to receive the MT-1 turret was the U-0 tank, the KV prototype, from his return from combat testing. In February, three vehicles were used for testing. U-0, U-1, and U-3 were sent in combat testing and participated in breaking through the mana hive line. The first sample have a special muzzle break, but it was frequently torn off during the test and rejected. Mass production of the tank Originally designated Big Turret KV, very original. God damn it, I got to read the script. Anyway, it began in early spring 1940. The first 46 tanks were equipped with MT-1 turret. In the fall of that year, an improved variant of the tank were designed with a lower turret and became the main model of this series. A total of 167 tanks with a lower turret were produced until the end of July 1941 and in 1941 of the same year they were designated KV-2. As mentioned before they were designed to destroy enemy fortification, primarily pillboxes. In a situation where the Soviets have to defend rather than attack there were no longer any need for the KV-2 tank and their production stopped. However this shouldn't imply that the KV-2 was a bad tank. In suffice to say, after being hit point-blank with his 152mm shell, enemy tank would literally crumble, with their welded seams breaking apart. And just like with the KV-1, his major weakness was his unreliability. What? What the hell I'm reading? Soviet propaganda? Ah, never mind. Anyway, and that was a brief summary of the KV-2. I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. And if you don't like it, piss off. Next time, gentlemen.